I'm Suzanne Anderson, and I am the founder of the Mysterial Woman Movement, which is a movement dedicated to the awakening of consciousness and leadership capacity in women around the world, women who are then able to really be stewards of these challenging um, tipping point times. I'm the co-author of uh, the award-winning book, The Way of the Mysterial Woman, Upgrading How You Live, Love, and Lead. And I just feel inspired to come live here this afternoon on this day of these phenomenal uh, climate protests, climate global climate change um, strikes and protests, and basically a time around the globe when people of all ages are rising up and saying, hey, we have, a, we have a serious problem and we need to look at square in the eyes, even when there are others that are saying, this isn't anything to worry about. Let's just go back to business as usual and exploit the earth. So, so this is a moment and it kind of aligns uh, today with the work that I'm doing with women in the programs that I run. Um, and, it, and it makes me want to bring into focus one particular aspect of what I do in my, in my work, which is around an archetype called the Crone Archetype. And some of you who will know my work know that um, I spent 10, 12 years doing research trying to decode a developmental pathway for women. Um, that could start to unlock the next level of their potentiality. I think we're right in this birth canal right now that evolution is actually asking us to, to bring on, cultivate, have access to capacities that have never been needed as fully before and certainly are needed now. And so we're being pulled in a sense into, into a birthing process. And um, so I want to talk for just a moment about this to close out my week. And uh, for those of you that are there, there are some of you coming on now that I'm starting. I'd just love to know you're there. You can tell me who you are if you want to type your name in or where you are, or you could just give me a little heart, one of those little like things that I know you're tuned in. Um, so the, the crone archetype comes in as the fifth archetypal gateway in the sequence that I work with, which I call the mysterial sequence. Uh, in a developmental pathway, so from when a young girl, the, the early, early stages until the latter years. I believe this particular archetype is trying to come in now in culture in a way that it's never been able to fully before. And it's bringing a kind of capacity for truth telling, for speaking truth to power, a fierce candor, I call it constructive candor, that is absolutely necessary now and for this archetype to come in fully I mean in its real robust health that's what I spent 10 years figuring out was how to do that and what all of the the, uh, the four archetypal gateways are before you ever get to that that uh, fifth one the, the chrome the synthesizing you could say gateway because what we found was if those were really open and you had healthy access to each one of the archetypes before you got to the crone, then the crone had a better chance to come in in a healthy way. Now what's interesting is we see this in the developmental pathway, so it is in the latter years you could say of a woman's unfolding that this kind of wisdom has the potential to be constellated, to be coming in. But we're also seeing this code come in much earlier in younger women. And I think there are many of the young women, for example, and men um, who are marching today who, for whom this is lighting up early. It's a kind of, as I say, um, ability to see what's so without any blinders, to just really say this is what's happening and see it and then be able to speak to it. And it's a beautiful thing because that code does need to come in sooner and it needs to come in in a healthy way sooner. And when this archetype lights up in us and in culture, 
it's a quantum shift that happens and I'm watching it now in my level two program, which is women who've been working with me now for two years and we're now in the activation of the healthy crone, but they've done a lot of work to get here. And when it starts to come in, this mm, kind of a, um, electric pattern in the psyche, it's like it opens access to our ways of knowing that are so beyond what we've cultivated with just the left brain, for example. But the crone also gives us an amazing capacity to be with the mystery, to be with the un to be with the messiness, to be able to hold and, and create the, the containers for alchemy to actually take place, for the transformation from lead to gold. That's a really important capacity that we need to bring online. And I thought I'd just end um, the week here by, by um, offering you the, the invocation, which is at the beginning of the chapter of the book on the crone. And for those of you who are live with me, I, I invite you just to let these words in this very moment come in you as though they're coming from this energy that's trying to get your attention and saying, I want to wake up inside of you now. And I do want to have to come into the world, um, this wisdom, love and power and be the change agents that the world so needs right now. And for those of you that listen to this later, see if you can just settle in and let these words touch you. Oh, the crone essence says, still yourself and listen carefully. Hear my voice inside you now, arising from a well of silence. Be in the perfection of this moment. Drop your past. Drop your attempts to change, to to be a better person. Drop the future that awaits you. Drop everything. Be in the perfection of this moment, for this is where you will discover who I truly am. I will guide you into a wisdom so profound, it will weave together your many ways of knowing. And love is here, exquisite and full enough that your heart will break wide open into the pulsing of the whole universe inside you. And welcome my power. I have the strength of a lion and the grace of a feather. Prepare for my alchemy. Mother, hero, father, and maiden have done their work. Step forward with me now into the mystery. Step forward with me now into the mystery. All right, so that's it. May those words reverberate in and through you and allow for 2% more of this exquisite alchemical energy to stream through you and into the world. Bye for now.